Welcome Seekers, you have made it to the Tarot Magicians channel. My name is Ricky and today I bring you another Pick A Card Tarot reading. This is your 2022 Love Predictions Advice Guidance. Uh, we're going to try and get as much information as we can from the cards regarding 2022 and what um, it's going to look like for you guys. So. Before we get started, just want to remind you seekers that I am offering private readings at this time. You will have to go through my Etsy store if you're interested. I am keeping the, uh, well now it's winter special, I'm keeping the winter special going. That's 60% off all private readings uh, for voice only. So you're going to see the link to that store in the description. Thank you seekers for your support. Um, we are also going to, in this reading, be using a pretty special tarot deck. It's called the American Renaissance Tarot. Um, really beautiful deck. Hope you seekers enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. I am excited for 2022. I just feel like 2022 is such, uh, I, I want to say career building year. I just think that there's a lot of, of balance that we're going to be able to find in 2022 energetically is what I'm picking up on. So let's see what the cards have to say. Let's get started. In front of you seekers, you have three groups, three doors, really. This is door number one. This is door number two. And this is door number three. So go ahead, take a moment, make your selections now. If you are attracted to more than one door, that's okay too. Watch the, the, the group with the door that attracted you first and then move on to the next one. All right, so I'm gonna include the timestamps in the description below and I'll see you in your group. Welcome group number one to today's Pick A Card Tarot reading. This is your 2022 Love Predictions Guidance Advice. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. Um, I've already shuffled um, and, and uh, just put the cards on the board. We're going to go ahead and start with your door. You picked a very, very, um, very interesting door. You know, there's definitely a sense of the unknown with this door. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's behind it, shall we? Change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. Wow. So let's talk about this card before we reveal the next one. Uh, behind your door, we have a message of change, right? So 2022, it's going to be a, a very different year uh, than what it was than what 2021 was, you know, so, you know, this reading is for everyone. This is for singles, couples, uh, people that are in relationships, everyone. So if you're watching this, just know that your situation is going to change dramatically. Um, so if you're in a relationship now, it could very well mean that you're going to go to the next level. Um, it could very well mean that you need to examine your relationship. Um, and you know, sometimes you have to make the hard choices of ending uh that relationship because it's just not beneficial for you for those of you that are in a relationship that might very well mean that might very well be the change that we're seeing here but you you'll you know we all know intuitively if we're we're with the right person or not at least i believe truly um that we have that ability so you'll know but mostly i feel that if for those of you that pick this group it's almost like you are single there's a sense of being single um, and change is going to come in a very dynamic kind of way. So let's go ahead and see what the uh, Seasons of the Witch, the Samwin Oracle deck reveals to us. <laughs> Rebirth, my goodness. So all these cards were shuffled randomly, uh, but so far, you know, you have two cards that are aligning perfectly here. Rebirth, there's death in all that awakens, for it isn't blissful nor painless. It's a mighty rising, O oh, flame resurrected, right? such um such a telling card such a powerful card you know we have here a sense of pain we have a sense of being mighty of finding that bliss inside of you that warrior that says i will not yield i will move forward and be victorious and so what this card is essentially um telling you is you're going to overcome some kind of challenge in love that you've been unfortunately been uh, riddled with or um 
you've been experiencing and something new is going to come out of this this is going to be a new relationship uh, a renewed if for those of you that are in a relationship right now uh, or you're, you're already married or you already have that significant other there is going to be something new a, a rebirth a revival of something and so it's almost like you know this card is telling you that the bad things that unfortunately have hindered the relationship is going to come to an end for those of you that are single being single is not going to be with you for a very long time. You're not going to be single for a very long time. I almost get the feeling that, you know, the cards are just telling you that. You're going to find someone. Um, and it will be very impactful. For those of you that, you know, are in a relationship now, a lot of change. And so let's go ahead and reveal the Lover's Oracle cards. We're going to try and get some direct, direct messages from the Lover's Oracle. We're going to start with this one. Time. Okay, so a bit of advice and guidance for 2022 when it comes to love. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Interesting, right? That's one of the hardest lessons um, that we have to learn, to be patient. But it is something that we must master in order to receive what's coming. Patience is very hard. So time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Um, I feel that a lot of you have put a lot of intention towards this change, towards what's coming towards this newness, towards this rebirth, towards, towards this revival. So you have two oracle cards that are so powerfully talking about that change that's coming. But now you've got a bit of a balancing message here telling you to please be patient, right? You're trying too hard. You're giving too much of yourself. You're worrying too much about this. Give it time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. So very interesting message, right? A very balancing message after this uh, rebirth. So, let's reveal the other Lover's Oracle card and see what message we have here. <laughs> Twin Flame, your passion ignites. Wow, what an inviting card. This is the only uh, card of, of its kind within that uh, Oracle deck, and your group has it. What a powerful, beautiful card, especially in a love reading. My oh my. So, Twin Flames, your passion ignites. Um, group number one, you know, a lot of you are, are in a Twin Flame journey. And, I um, mean, you know, I've done Twin Flame uh, readings before. I think that the meaning of, of Twin Flames has been kind of twisted and, and um, almost made to fit some kind of new meaning. Um, so it's kind of strange to see, but there are instances where Twin Flames actually are uh, romantic. You know, you could have a romantic relationship with this person. Um, but I feel very strongly that for a lot of you, what this twin flame uh, signifies is that you're going to find the one. You're going to find the person that really matches with you. You're going to find someone who uh, talks the way you talk, likes what you like. So a big, big fun year. You know, and one of the things that I think a lot of you have been missing is someone that is like you. I feel that a lot of the people that pick this group, you know, you've been in relationships with people that really um, you have nothing in common with, right? I, I just get this idea where you guys were just doing your own thing um, way too for way too long. For those of you that have been in relationships or are in a relationship or, you know, I just feel like you've never been with someone that really, really, really matched you, that really um, liked what you liked. And there, there really wasn't a lot of, of um, a lot of connection there. And so with this kind of twin flame passion and, and the fact that it, it's igniting and we have that, you know, representation of that ignition with rebirth, there's literally a fire burning as the witches um, hold hands around it, celebrating the newness of it, right? The death of the old and the newness that the fire promises to bring. So, you know, it's very, very, very beautiful to, to see these combination of cards because you're moving away from something that unfortunately just hasn't made you feel complete from relationships and people and situations that just didn't match your energy. And now you're moving towards something that really does align with you and who you are. So beautiful, beautiful couple of cards there, uh, these, or these love oracle cards. So let's reveal the final two oracles and then we're gonna go and throw some tarot from the Renaissance Tarot. So we're going to start with the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. Let's take a look and see what card you got. Frost. Okay, you've got the Frost Frost card. Ice cold melting in time. A frozen glance at what lies behind. What lies ahead. What lies within. And the chilling frost of thy undead. Wow. So group number one, this is pretty powerful. You've got three cards now. 
And again, these cards were shuffled and, and put down on the board randomly. You've got three Oracle cards that align perfectly. These cards are talking about change. Um, now we have here a representation of, of the of the frost of the um, the season of the season the 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 seasons of the of the, of the witch meaning um, salmon. And I feel like early on, especially in, in this winter time, I believe until March, March 20th, within these first three months, you're going to see something. For a lot of you, I feel that this twin flame might present themselves or you're going to get some kind of, of action really quickly early on in the year, the first three months. Um, again, you know, we go right back to it, right? Time. You are trying too hard, give it time. So that message can't be ignored, even though I'm telling you that Things might move quickly for a lot of you in the winter time when it comes to love, possibly meeting this person. Um, you are still being being kind of grounded here, right? Your spirit guides and spirit, they want you to remain grounded. Not up in the skies, you know, constantly dreaming and daydreaming about this to the point that you forget to um, take care of yourself. You forget to do the things that you ought to do for yourself, right? Um, so it's not good to just be in the clouds. It's good to find some grounding, right? You're here, you're in the here and now. And a lot is being asked of you. So always go back to this message, right? You are trying too hard, give it time. But again, Frost, beautiful. Um, this, These are three cards lining up telling you that this dynamic, beautiful change is coming. So prepare for that. Let's go ahead and reveal the final oracle. This is from the Manifestation Moonology cards. Let's see what message we got for the year. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Wow. I like this card. Um, I feel now with this card, and I've been feeling it for a while, so I'm good that I, I'm glad that I got this card. But I feel that a lot of you have been in abusive relationships. Some of you, um, and when I mean abusive relationships, I just mean like the kind of relationships where the, your partner kind of steamrolls you, right? Doesn't really take into account who you are, what you what you love, what you care about. Um, you know, I just, I, I kind of remind, I'm reminded of what Billie Eilish, the, the, the pop singer said, she never felt powerful in her relationships. For some reason that, that little phrase keeps coming to mind. Um, and so it, it's, it speaks beautifully to what these cards are talking about, right? You've never felt powerful in your relationships. You've never felt like maybe potentially you are worthy right or you are able and capable it almost feels like a lot of you you've been previewed to some very toxic uh people very toxic people maybe all about themselves satisfaction they really just wanted something physical with you um commitment uh, phobes they didn't want to commit to you uh, so all these things are, are moving away from you and you're going to be able to fully step into your power and really get what you want um, so I, for a lot of you, what I envision, what I'm seeing is someone who says what they mean or says what they want and, and they, by, by talking, by communicating it, they, they get exactly what they want. And a lot of you, I think that you've held back um, for the fear of maybe being alone, for the fear of upsetting people. Uh, this is a year that when it comes to love, you speak your mind, you are vulnerable, you are in many ways going to attract the person that is going to really understand you on a very profound level. Um, this is very interesting. Things are going to move very quickly for you, group number one. These oracle cards, that's all they're talking about. You know, quickness, quickness, quickness. But again, we go right back to the message, right? You cannot obsess over this quickness. Remember, you cannot obsess over this. For some reason, that is very, very important for you to keep in mind. All right. So let's throw some tarot. Uh, we're going to use a very special tarot deck. It's called the Renaissance Tarot. Um, the, 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 which I'm going to call it. The, um, the cover is actually pretty interesting. It's a book. But anyways, we're going to use this deck. And we're going to try and gain a little more understanding of, of you know, how the year is going to shape up for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to throw, let's do four cards. And I guess we can examine um, quarter by quarter and see exactly what each quarter is going to offer you. Let's go ahead and take a look. So Renaissance Tarot, talk to us. What is how is this year going to look like? How is this year going to look like when it comes to love? Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So, you know, these are interesting cards that you've got here. Very, very interesting cards. 
Um, we start with the we start with the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is a very inviting card because it talks about um, celebrations. You know, it talks about having fun. It talks about um, just bringing the people that you want to be around together and celebrating. So the Three of Cups is a very inviting card. You know, we have your celebration, we have your fun. It, it could very well mean what this card could be telling you, group number one, is that you're going to meet this person when you are having your 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 fun. You know, when you're out, when you're celebrating, you know, potentially what this card can be talking about is dating. There's gonna be a lot of instances where you're you know you're gonna go out, you're going to have fun. So Three of Cups is a very inviting card because it talks about relationships, but it's almost like group relationships, right? Uh, group love, you know, your friends, people that really truly love you and care for you. So this relationship, this twin flame relationship, will more than likely um, burst out of this Three of Cups. Right? It's this Three of Cups energy is going to lead you to that, to the, to this twin flame connection. Interestingly enough. All right. So the, your next card out was the uh, Six of Coins, and the Six of Coins. You know, it's definitely one of those things where there's worry here. I think that some of you are thinking that maybe there's someone that's going to do you harm. You know, let's take a look at the Six of Coins. And please keep in mind when you look at the images of these cards, this is the Renaissance Tarot. So there is going to be a lot of Renaissance themes here, right? So what you see here with the Six of Coins is um, a slave, young boy slave, who's being taught to, to read by... Um, the the boy's slave master right and and, and so this woman is, is, is a nurturer she wants to help him um she's feeding him she's feeding his mind she's feeding his body we see some biscuits there but in the background you have the slave master who's horrified that um this woman is teaching this boy to read right it's like this 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 energy does not want for this young boy to escape his prison and so what this card is telling you is that there is maybe fear surrounding you. There's a fear of maybe potentially missing that one person. There's a fear of potentially not being in the right place at the wrong, at the right time. There's a fear. And, and we go right back to time, right? You are trying too hard, give it time. So I think the Six of Coins is a perfect representation of them. You're trying too hard, give it time. Uh, because there's a sense of, of dread. There's a sense of what if all of this is just not true? What if all of this is um, unfortunately not for me? You know, it's almost like if some of you, you're really not, you can, it's, it's impossible for some of you to see yourself having this kind of blessing or having this kind of life for some reason. You know, this is more than likely, it's more than likely goes back to your childhood. I mean, again, we, we do have a child here learning how to read, uh, being taught how to read, uh, kind of being shown the way that life is, how love works, but at the same time, there's um, this energy of someone that doesn't really want them to. So I feel that maybe for some of you, group number one, your childhood was not all that great. Um, there's some things that you're missing, right? Uh, as far as you know, being patient or perhaps understanding the deepness and the depth of love, or, or perhaps just understanding that in order to obtain what you want in life, you have to let it go. And once you let these things go, they come to you. The more you obsess and obsess and obsess over them, you'll never have it. It, it will escape you. And so, you know, a lot of people, they confuse visualize, visualization magic and, um, and um, essentially with this obsession, right? And so I think that that's what the cards are trying to, to get you to understand. You stop obsessing over this relationship. Just let it happen naturally. And understand that, you know, sometimes you feel the way that you feel because of past pains, past hurts, and we see it with the Six of Coins. Now, the Three of Coins tells us and confirms to us that there is a plan in motion, okay? Now, this is definitely something that I feel is spiritual. I feel that this is almost contractual, so, you know, it has to do with the purpose of why you were brought to this, to this earth, to, to essentially help you and move you forward so whatever you know this relationship that is that is coming this twin flame relationship is going to help you in a very dynamic kind of way and it's not only going to assist you in your um you know your your love life it's going to impact your life completely 
uh, the three of coins we have here uh, three three people that well you know again Renaissance era so we have a representation of three slaves that are, are working hard right they've been working hard 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 and um, you know now it's the time where they are able to potentially um, get a little something back for that hard work as little as it may be um, but I feel that all that toil, all that work is going to pay off. You are going to be able to obtain something that you've been wanting, and it is going to impact your entire life. And so what we are seeing with the Eight of Swords is your fears. Your fears just kind of reflected back at you, right? Um, this is someone who, unfortunately, in this illustration is sick, right? He's in bed. He can't get up. So there's a sense of just... You know, letting life just kind of unfurl around him, but he's not happy with that, right? This person in the bed that's sick, you know, this person wants to be going out, wants to be doing things. But his body does not allow him, his mind does not allow him to do it. Um, it's almost like, you know, it's it's destiny for this person to be going through this, right? It's, it's a process that they have to go through. And so you're being reminded here, group number one, that there is going to be a process to this there's going to be many things that potentially are going to happen for you to meet this person it is going to be impactful it is going to be very transformative and it is going to offer you a lot right so we 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 come right back to the oracle cards and just the fact that they're talking so much about change dynamic change change for the best change for the better so keep in mind be patient be patient in everything that you do that's the advice here Understand that uh, if you're feeling down or if you're feeling like potentially you're missing something, the cards are telling you that potentially you are and it's something that was not given to you when you were a child, okay? And unfortunately, you know, it's left you feeling like there's a sense of dread for a lot of you. There's a sense of fear as well. You know, you, you want something to happen, and unfortunately, since it's not happening quite as you want it to, it's almost like a lot of you have just um, turned a bit dark, or you've turned to a bit more fearful side. Avoid that. Be patient. Try and be as happy as you can right now. Things are going to, to be very, very wonderful for you, group number one. I haven't uh, yet done the other two groups, but, I mean, you've got a very powerful, powerful card here. Twin Flames, your passion ignites. So, you know, anything that happens to you when it comes to love in 2022 is going to be very positive. Very, very positive. The the only thing that will get in the way of that positivity is yourself. You see, we see it here in the Eight of Swords and the Six of Coins, right? It's yourself. It's your negative thought process. It's your um, potentially, you know, being in a relationship with this person and treating them in a certain way where it's like if you were still dating someone else right so make sure that you are letting go of all of that darkness make sure that you are partaking in this in this fire right we, ha we have here the the witches all around this fire and it's the fire that burns away the things that are not going to help us and that includes negative thought process that includes hate for someone else forgiveness right once you move past that and you're able to 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 bring this relationship into your life things are just going to expand even further for you so very beautiful reading thank you for watching group number one um, again i am offering uh, private readings at this time i'm extending the fall special to now winter special still 60 percent off of voice only readings uh, so take advantage of that price point I am going to include the link in the description below. It is my Etsy store. You will have to go through my Etsy store. And um, I want to thank you once again so much for your love, for your words, for your comments. Uh, let me know what you thought about the reading. Let me know, you know, if you're excited for 2022 and, and what it has to offer. Thank you once again. Bye-bye. Welcome group number two to today's pick a card tarot reading. This is your 2022 love reading. Now before we get started, just want to remind you seekers that I am offering private readings at this time. I'm extending the fall special to winter uh, so that 60% off is still there. You'd have to go through my Etsy store to be able to place that private reading. The link is going to be in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We are today going to be revealing the Oracle cards first, and then we'll move on to the tarot deck. 
the first card that we're going to reveal is your door. So you picked a beautiful, beautiful door. Let's see what's behind it. Silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace. The soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Wow. All right, so, you know, before we reveal the next card, let's just talk a little bit about this door. So, interesting. Um, this is definitely talking about a challenge. And I feel like that challenge right now is maybe potentially for some of you no more. You know, this could be a, a, a past relationship that has hurt you, that has really gotten in the way of your success, um, and essentially just wasted your time. So you're moving away from that. Uh, but unfortunately, now that that situation is gone, now this relationship and the burden of it and the heaviness and the darkness of it has now it's not weighing on your mind. And so you're being asked to let go of that. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next card. The next card, the next Oracle card is from the Seasons of the Witch, Samwin Oracle. Let's see what card we got. Ancestors. Ooh, wow. Okay, so they hiss, a uh, quivering so deep, only roots of your soil can lift. The nakedness hidden within the vows, made in silence, an ancient chill walking upon the spine. Wow. Oof. Group number two. Um, so now we have more talk of silence. And this is very interesting. This is very interesting. There are things going on that you don't know about, uh, group number two. There's a lot of things going on in silence. And what I feel what I feel that this that this key word that just now keeps, you know, showing up so far, why it's so important is because your spirit guides are essentially telling you that they're working behind the scenes. And so for a lot of you that are telling yourselves it's impossible for me to have exactly what I want, you know, your spirit guides are telling you that nothing is impossible because you have us, you have our power, you have our abilities, you have our uh, knowledge of you and, and what you are here to do. So we're helping you, we're assisting you. Nothing is impossible. If it's a desire, if you're potentially seeing it in your mind's eye, it's because there's some truth to that and you will more than likely achieve something close to that if not the exact same thing that you are envisioning in your mind and so what the ancestors are, are here to tell you is that you're, you're going to be receiving some help from sources that you didn't even know were there um, ancestors for me when I look at that card you know I, I have a strong strong uh, kind of intuitive intuitive draw that tells me that it's mostly just your spirit guides you know these these entities are around and they're helping you they're assisting you in what this uh this this is going to bring you interestingly enough so you know i think another reason why silence is showing up is because your ancestors your spirit guides spirit let's just call it spirit um they don't want you to be so vocal about things maybe a lot of you have this tendency to want to overshare um, so there's this sense of just, you know, wanting to, to just talk with people about, you know, maybe this person, what you think about that other person, and what you think about this person. It's this tendency to want to always just share something with someone. And your ancestors, your spirit guides are telling you that might not be the wisest of things. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think that uh, a lot of you have wise counsels around, right? As much as... And, and that's normal, right? Uh, anytime we want to, we meet someone or we want to do something, we tend to run it by other people. Um, you know, we, we check in with other people. We really listen to the advice of other people. But sometimes, you know, that can be very damaging because their advice might not always be geared towards your greatest success. And so what your spirit guides are telling you is consult with us first. Consult with spirit first. Um, you know, intuitively just ask that question, spirit guides, is this the one? Spirit guides, what, what should I do right now? Right? Ask it physically, verbally. There's energy around you that you have not tapped into. into. Unfortunately, a lot of you are, you're taking that energy, you're taking everything that's going on around you, and you're going to the wrong people and sharing information and trying to gain advice from these people. And um, in some ways, they might actually be acting against your best interest because, let's face it, you know, we live in a world that's very, very fragile. We live in a world where um, even if you love someone dearly, you want to be more successful than that person. 
Um, so someone, potentially a good friend, you know, they care about you very, very profoundly and, you know, that's the person that you go to advice for and then, you know, they never steer you wrong. You're being asked to potentially stay away from that person. Uh, don't overshare. Just remain silent and the answers will present themselves to you. All right. So keep that in mind as you move forward in the year 2022. You know, you might get some bad advice and that bad advice will stay with you to the point that it will in some ways um, hinder you. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and reveal the two lovers oracle cards. Let's see what messages we have here. The first one says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow, group number two. You know, these cards were shuffled randomly and uh, put down on the board. So it's beautiful the fact that you are now getting these messages of moving away from the darkness that once was to the newness that will be for 2022. So that is very interesting, right? The past is now behind you. Release it. So that's a very strong word there, release it. Why is that important? Well, because we definitely were able to see with these other two Oracle cards that you're holding on to some things that you need to unpack and release. Um, so be very careful with, the, with, with, with what you're choosing to bring into this new relationship because there are new possibilities, there are new relationships. We see it here now. There's a confirmation with this Lover's Oracle card. New possibilities await. A new path is now available to you. So the fact that you've got here a new path is now available to you, that's beautiful. That's that's your ancestors literally telling you, hey, we've opened the door for you completely. Okay, you don't even need to open it. We've opened it for you completely. We've allowed for certain things to happen so that you can see. Now that we've opened this door, it's time for you to walk through that door. And you know what's the funniest part? You picked literally you pick the door that um, is not even a door it's like it's like a passageway right it's like you didn't you didn't even have to open the door it's just there it's it, it's and now you have the the this message it's it's funny how there really are no coincidences and it's funny how all of these cards are aligning so beautifully for you wow all right so let's go ahead and reveal the uh, second lover's oracle card let's see what message we get here freedom there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be wow <laughs> i mean are you kidding me so yeah all these cards are aligning so perfectly um but you know there is definitely something to talk about here that we can that we can dissect right so there's definitely something that a lot of you are not letting go of um it's like you have the freedom to move forward but you don't want to you're stuck in some energy you're stuck in some betrayal you're stuck in someone who you really 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 felt like they were the one who ultimately ended up betraying your trust backstabbing you maybe speaking badly of you on the internet with other people uh completely destroying your reputation there's definitely something that, that has happened to a lot of the people watching this that was very profound and i think that you know in some ways you're taking it to your next relationship because you want to avoid that pain and so you're fearful of what this next chapter is going to bring me because you, you want to definitely avoid the chaos that was right and the chaos that reigned in your previous relationship so my oh my both of these lovers oracle cards have aligned so beautifully to give you a message of freedom to give you a message of expansion to give you a message of growth but growth so profound that it will impact you in, in just every way, in the most dynamic of ways. So this is a beautiful message. This is a beautiful oracle card. Let's go ahead and review the other two. So this is from the Seasons of the Witch, Yule Oracle. Let's take a look and see what we have. Remembering. Okay. Oh, hey, thy glimpse glimmer in the darkest of sights. Never forgotten, never still, yet pacing in the mind in the twilight of the night. Wow. Oh boy, group number two. You know, this is a this is gonna be a bigger problem than we thought. Okay, it is going to be a bigger problem than we thought. It now it just keeps showing up. So let's do a quick, quick, quick summary. There's something new coming your way. 
You have freedom. You are being asked to embrace that freedom. There is nothing stopping you to move forward and do what you ought to do. You're being told that your ancestors, your spirit guides, spirit has not abandoned you. Um, you're being told that all of the things that have happened, even though they've been dark and unfortunately you wish that it didn't happen, it was necessary to bring you closer to an understanding of yourself and everything around you. But that experience, those past relationships, that past pain was so profound that 2022 is in many ways going to be shaped and formed by how you are seeing yourself presently. And so you're being asked to shed the old skin, to move away from that energy that was so, so damaging, so just, uh, you know, I just feel like this weight on me right now, you know, like this fog, this, un I can't see through the fog, I don't understand why is this happening. You know, I'm seeing this dark night of the soul, I'm seeing this death. And so, in many ways, that death is the death of the of your innocence. Your innocence has unfortunately been taken from you, group number two. Um, and it was done by someone, you know, this these past relationships. And so you're being asked to, in some ways, communicate with that innocence once again, as you are moving into this new relationship, into this new phase, there's going to be this tendency to relive past pains, past hurts. And so what, what ends up happening is that whoever your current partner is, ends up suffering because of the sins or, or the darkness of the past. And so it's, it, it's, and the reason why I'm focusing so much on this is because now the cards are aligned so beautifully where the message is, the message is two. It's two messages. There's change, there's what you want ahead of you, there's freedom, but at the same time, there's this inability to see it. There's this inability to move forward. There's this darkness that is still present with you. And it's still in your thoughts, and it won't let you move forward. And it won't let you kind of tap into that innocence, that sparkle, that shine that was inside of you. You know, how can it? especially when you've seen so much darkness already. So that is in many ways crippling, but you are being told um, that you're going to be moving away from that energy, group number two. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and reveal the final oracle, and then we're going to throw some tarot. This is from the uh, Moonology Oracle, the, the new Moonology, the Revelation. Let's take a look. Wow, new moon in Libra. No, you are loved is the message here. That's so beautiful. Okay, um, group number two. I, I, I get this. I get this very strong feeling that a lot of you, um, this problem, this darkness, goes all the way back to your childhood. You know, it goes all the way back to bad parenting. For some of you, you know, not all, obviously, but for some of you, it's not even about past relationships. It's really just about I'm sorry, it's not about past uh, romantic relationships. It's really just about, you know, the relationship you had with your parents, uh, the people around you. It, it seems like it just didn't go very well. And unfortunately, that has shaped you. It's, it's molded you. It's turned you into a certain kind of person. Um, so that's why, you know, this is why we are finding it so hard to just kind of move on. Because um, this comes from your childhood. But... You know, your spirit guides are going to show you what this is, group number two. So, you know, if you're watching this and you're asking yourself, what exactly could that be? What is it that I'm just dragging with me, and almost acting it out unconsciously? What is this, right? For those of you that are asking yourselves that question, ask your spirit guides. Ask spirit, please, spirit, I need your help. Give me the answer. Show me what, what it is that I'm doing that, unfortunately, is against my benefit. Spirit will show you. Um, it's important for you to take that step. And I think that a lot of you just weren't given enough love. I think that one of the things that we're seeing here right now, right, know that you are loved. Um, it's, it, this is definitely a big revealer, right? It's like you weren't given enough love. You weren't shown that love, that attention. Maybe there are some abandonment issues going on here that um, unfortunately, you know, it's still a darkness that's, that weighs on you. And it, it affects your relationships with people, unfortunately. So... Know you are loved, group number two. Your spirit guides, if they can give you a hug right now, they would. Uh, they want you to know that um, they love you very profoundly. 
and there is right now love all around you and so understand that you know a lot of you have felt that your spirit guides have abandoned you spirit has abandoned you you know you've expected something for so long when it comes to love it hasn't happened you know and and i know because i i see all of the all of the things that are out there right some readings uh some pick a cards are just so positive you would swear that you're you're gonna find your love every week um, and unfortunately, you know, sometimes when it doesn't happen because the message is not for you, you end up getting a bit down and depressed and a bit dark. And so that is, this message is for those people that are feeling this way, All right? So there's definitely some things that you have to put together in order to reach and uh, this desire, this want. And, and one of those things is understanding just how, how, how free you are. And also a love for life. A lot of you, unfortunately, there's no love for life for some of you, right? There's this sense of dread, right? Um, and so it's very hard to attract love when we don't have that same love and zest for life. And so that might be a lesson. That might be something that you are carrying with you that, you know, is very difficult to move away from. But it might be something that you will have to face as you move into this new relationship with this person, with this new energy here. You know, it almost feels like your spirit guides are telling you that anything that you desire will happen, right? Anything that you want will happen. You are free. You are, you're under this energy of expansion at the current time. But a lot of you are just like unwilling to move forward. It's like you're stuck right here. You're, you, you're, you're, you don't want to take that next step in your development, in your process. So that is very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and throw some tarot. We're gonna throw uh, some tarot from the American Renaissance Tarot. So this is a very interesting, interesting tarot deck. Now keep in mind, it is from the Renaissance uh, era. So there are illustrations of slavery, which just makes the deck even more impact impactful and even more powerful. Let's take a look and see what we have here. What is going to happen for you? Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, you know, if you were attracted to group number one, um, I would I would really advise you to, to watch group number one just because the message is just so, so similar. Even the card placements, you know, a lot of you got the same tarot cards. So this is very interesting. But anyways, we start with the Three of Cups. You are being asked by your spirit guides to celebrate. All right. This is the year to celebrate. I almost get the feeling that in this celebration that you see here in the Three of Cups, this is where you're going to meet this person, this new relationship. Um, you know, there is no direct message of meeting the one and meeting that one person, but there is a sense of getting anything that you want for this year. So if your desire is to be in a relationship with someone, you are going to achieve it. You are going to bring it. You are going to attract it. All right. Uh, three, and it's going to come with you having fun. Three of Cups is fun. You know, you have some friends going out. They're drinking. They're having a bit of fun. You know, they're, they're, um, there's a sense of carelessness, but at the same time, you know, there's a sense of responsibility. So keep that in mind as you head to, into 2022 celebrations fun, entertainment, ambience. Make sure that you are in a place where there is this sense of just, you know, aliveness and fun. That's where you want to be for 2022. That's where you want to try. That's what you want to try and bring into your life as much fun as you possibly can with people that truly genuinely care about you. You know, again, uh, be very careful who you share information with when it comes to love you don't need advice from people. You know, you don't need to divulge all this information. You don't need to let people know um, everything that happens in your love life as much as, you know, we want to for some reason. Um, the cards are advising you against that, right? Because there's an over, there's there's a tendency to overshare and that is very detrimental. And it, well, it's not detrimental, but for you, the reading is saying that it will be. So be very careful who you're sharing information with. The 10 of coins, it, it talks about reaching a place of complete and utter contentment, right? So the Ten of Coins tells us that you are going to reach the mountaintop. So here we have everything that um, this person has been working towards. You know, this person has been striving, trying to get ahead. 
and the Ten of Coins is him finally putting the finishing touches on that golden pyramid of his, right? You know, the Ten of Coins uh, normally, traditionally, shows a family scene, right? Shows all of the people around, you know, just partaking in the, the vastness and partaking in the financial blessings of the time. But here, what you have is someone who has a goal, a personal goal. This person reached out, did what was necessary to achieve that goal, and now he's able to stand on top of the mountain being victorious. And so, group number two, you know, when it comes to love, whatever you, you're desiring, the cards are telling you, your spirit guides are telling you, it, it is very possible. It's right there. Really what your spirit guides are trying to uh, get you to understand is that one of the reasons why you haven't been able to manifest exactly what you want it's because of yourself. It's because of this trauma that you've been carrying with you. And there's things that you're doing, there's things that you're saying, there's ways that you're acting that keep you from reaching this 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 image that you have in your head. And so we see that reflected in the five of wands, all right? This is going to be something that, that will challenge you, but I feel that you're going to be victorious in. So with the five of wands, what we see here is reaching, trying to reach a place, trying to get ahead, trying to be as dynamic as you possibly can be in all areas. But unfortunately, you know, you're you're being confronted with challenges. All right. So the five of wands, this illustration is a bit strange. Normally with the five of wands, what you have is, um, you know, five people who are struggling, right? It's a power struggle. Um, and I guess you can see that here because we do have five um, five uh, lightning bolts just striking the same area, you know, and so it talks about that power struggle. And that struggle is, it starts inside you and then unfortunately it plays out in your life in a very weird kind of way and people act a certain way around you because of the way that you're acting. And so these are things that are not very easy to, to identify. Um, the way that we talk or how we talk or what we choose to say and, and how to say it and just it's very difficult right and it's, it's funny because a lot of people can see our faults but but us and it's it's interesting also that your spirit guides they, they want you to stop looking towards other people to potentially help you in this area you know your spirit guides are telling you that they are the ones that are going to help you when it comes to love so they want silence from you they want you to understand that it will be a little difficult, you know, there, it, there's, there is going to be some kind of struggle, you know, some kind of power struggle uh, amongst the people around you possibly, you know, but justice will prevail in, in the end. And so what this means is you reaching a place of um, balance, you know, there, you reaching a, a, a place of complete equilibrium and, and also, you know, understanding what you've missed, how you've missed it. Um, how you've been of service, how you've been of, of blessings to, to other people, to yourself. The Justice card is the card of reaching a place of complete and utter understanding. So this is a year where you are able to understand potentially what has been holding you back, uh, why you act a certain way, why potent you, you know, a lot of you have questions, right? Why have I been single for so long? Why did that relationship not work out? Why is it that these things are happening to me? And so a lot of you are going to be receiving the answers, okay? You are going to be receiving the answers, but the two things that you need to keep in mind as you head into 2022 when it comes to love. Number one, know that you are loved. That is very, very profound message. Know you are loved, all right? Number two, the past is behind you. You must move forward. You have to release anything that doesn't serve you, embrace the new possibilities, and understand that there is a new path that is available to you, and you must follow it with faith, right? And then the, the, the final, I think the final message here is a reminder of your freedom, and a reminder that your ancestors, your spirit guides, and all these entities are working in your favor. There's an agreement in place, there's a plan in place, there's a, a soul contract that has been signed, and it will be fulfilled. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that is what I see here, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for watching. 
just a quick reminder, I am offering private readings at this time. Um, I'm extending the fall special and now it's a winter special. The, uh, the, the discount is going to remain 60% off uh, private readings. You will have to go through my Etsy store. The link is going to be in the description below. Thank you so much, uh, Seekers, for your, your love, your comments. Love reading your comments. Uh, it's been a little hard responding to everyone just because a lot more are coming in, but I, I try my best to respond as quickly as I possibly can. So I invite you, Seekers, to, to leave your comments. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much. I hope you, you all had a wonderful 2021. Um, it was definitely a very, um, you know, uh, just just a, a, a year of change, uh, but at the same time, a year of conformity, a year of, it, it, there's just so much that went on in 2021. And I, I feel that 2022 is going to be just as exciting, if not even more. So I hope that's the same for you. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Welcome group number three to today's pick a card tarot reading. This is your love reading for 2022. So before we get started, just want to remind you seekers, I am offering private readings at this time. I'm extending the fall special, which is now winter special. The 60% off is still there. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. You will have to go through my Etsy store in order to place those private readings requests. So Let's go ahead and get started. I am excited for 2022 and I hope you are too. Let's see what the cards have for you when it comes to love. We're gonna start with the door that you chose. Beautiful blue door. Let's see what's behind it. Secret sketches, wander and seek. The familiar and friendly kind draw memories and sketches for others to find. Interesting. So, you know what? Let's talk about that car for just a moment, right? Secret sketches, wander and seek. So, you know, I get this feeling, group number uh, three, that there's this there's this desire to find something you've been seeking for a while. I think that a lot of the people that pick this group might be uh, single, or if you're in a relationship, maybe some of you just intuitively know that there's something missing. Uh, so I feel that this reading is going to speak very profoundly to, to those two types of people. But what this, what this card is essentially telling you is that you've sketched out something that you've wanted in your life. You know, you, you, you've um, potentially made plans or sacrifices behind this kind of ideal, perfect image of what your life can be like. And so that's what this door is kind of highlighting. So very interesting. Let's see what the other Oracle cards add to this door so we're going to start well, we're going to we're going to continue with the seasons of the witch sandwin oracle you've got intuition you hold the answers you know the truths ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind wow what a powerful card to get uh group number three what a powerful powerful card um so you know let's look at this card for a moment and just talk about it right why is this car so powerful? Well, you're being told that there are certain things that you're going to be able to pick up on intuitively. So I, I just get this feeling that for some of you, you are going to be able to find the person that is going to help you and assist you in, in just the most beautiful, beautiful of ways. And I get the feeling that maybe for some of you, it just hasn't been that way. You know, maybe you've had relationships with other people, you've wanted certain things to happen or expect something to happen. If you're in a relationship now, there's an expectation, but unfortunately it just hasn't happened. Well, as you move into the new year, your intuition is about to be heightened. You're going to be able to see more than you've been seeing before. And so it's almost like if your vision at this moment in time is being almost perfected because you're getting closer to fulfilling your destiny or meeting someone that's going to assist you and help you move forward into whatever's next in, in your life. So you've got this beautiful card talking about intuition, talking about your ability to see further ahead, your ability to see into people's souls, their desires, their wants, their likes. A lot of you are very, very psychically activated, but you don't know it yet, or simply you just, you haven't come off age to be able to fully embrace this power, this ability that a lot of you have. And so I feel that with the new year, 
with the turning of the seasons, you are going to be activated in a very profound way. And you're going to be able to, you're going, you're going to notice it one day all of a sudden when you look into the eyes of someone and you get a message. And it's such a clear message that it's hard to ignore, you know, and, and it's an ability that it's going to feel like it's always been there, but you just haven't been able to see as clearly as you're seeing right now. So this ability is going to assist you and help you find the person that's going to give you what you have envisioned for yourself. You know, what you've sketched, what you've drawn somewhere, that perfect image, that perfect uh, picture that you're seeing in your head, that life exists somewhere. Uh, you just have to activate it. You have to find the key, the physical key to unlocking that reality. And I feel that with this new psychic power, this new ability that you're going to tap into or perfect, you are going to be able to find uh, that, that sketch. You're going to be able to find that key and open up that possibility. So that's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and reveal uh, the two Lover's Oracle cards. I like using the Lover's Oracle cards because they give direct, direct messages, right? So let's go ahead and reveal the very first Lover's Oracle. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Wow. What a beautiful card. And keep in mind, these cards were shuffled randomly. Um, so, you know, the fact that you've got that card is such a beautiful card. I mean, it's talking about a complete change from where you are right now. You know, and um, I mean, change is good, right? A lot of people are, are fearful of that change, but this is an inviting kind of change. This is the kind of change that you've been waiting for, that you've been wanting. Um, transformation is here. You know, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. That first part. It speaks very profoundly to people that are potentially in a relationship. Maybe you've already you're, you're married, or maybe you are with someone at the current time. That relationship in 2022 is about to take a huge, huge, huge advancement forward, wherever that may be. But um, things will get interesting. And also, the the thing that you have to remember here is that if you're not in a relationship right now, then intuitively. You're going to be able to find the person that's going to offer you that relationship. So a lot of you, I think, now we're kind of seeing the sketch, right? That picture that you've drawn in your head, this thing that you've really wanted. Now we're starting to get a, uh, an understanding of what that is. And what that is, is a deep relationship. That's what you want. You want your relationship to be deep and profound. You haven't had that. Unfortunately, I think that a lot of you have just been in relationships with people who are all just about physical pleasures, right? Um, people who are commitment uh, phobes, they don't want to commit. Right? They're just there for the fun, they're there for the ride. Uh, they're there for the physical pleasure, nothing more, nothing less. There really is nothing inside of them that's profound in, in any way. Um, they're just a fleeting flame that comes and goes. And so I think that a lot of you are tired of that. A lot of you want to move away from that because you know intuitively it's not what's right for you. It's not uh, the process of life. It's not where you're going to find your greatness. And so intuitively you know this at this moment in time, which is probably the reason why you're watching this rating. But further on, you're going to be able to find this person with your ability. All right, let's see what the final or love oracle card is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Group number three, look at that. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm gonna remind you, these cards were shuffled randomly. I haven't, this is the first time I'm, I'm seeing the cards along with you, okay? This is the first time I'm seeing them. And my, oh my, is that, my goodness, right? Wow. Uh, manifesting miracles. I mean, we literally have just been talking this whole time about an image that you have in your head that you're trying to bring into existence or you're trying to manifest, right? Um, now we have a little more information here. We know that it's going to become a reality for the year 2022. Um, there is going to be, and, and you know, one thing that I'm seeing here, the, the fact that we've got this keyword miracles is interesting because a lot of you view this type of connection that you want 
as a miracle. You know, maybe some of you have this kind of defe uh, defeated kind of energy where you convince yourself that, you know, they're, they're just things aren't the same anymore, things are changing, the quality of people is just not the same, you know, if you're potentially um, pursuing now um, male energy, you know, male energy now, it's uh, it's a bit scattered, you know, there's um, the value of marriage and the value of um, of, the, of finding the one for, for, for male energy has just unfortunately been disappearing, right, it's, it's turning into something else, but believe it or not, there are still people out there, right, that value one-on-one, -on -one, just one, the, the one and only. They, they value the, the power of marriage. They value the power of starting a family. They value all of those things, right, building a home. And I get the feeling that that is exactly what you want, and, um, but it, it feels like a miracle for you. And you are being told by your spirit guides that even though it, it, it feels like a miracle, your dream it is going to become real but the key here is for you to trust yourself so this is interesting right because you have this new energy that's coming in right with this intuition this third eye activation energy that's coming into your life and i feel that it's because a lot of you are coming on coming off age you are now entering a new cycle in your life where you're going to need that extra psychic energy and so through that psychic energy you are going to be able to find and make this dream a reality, but you might get in the way of your own ability. And so this right here, it's all, it's, it's about trusting what you feel. I think that a lot of you are going to unfortunately not trust in what you feel, not trust in what you see, not trust in what you hear. Even if, you know, whatever, whatever you hear, it might, it might come from a, from a different place. It might come from a voice in your head. You know, some people might have the tendency to say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Other people that might be a little wiser, they might tell themselves, maybe there's some kind of message trying to come through that I can learn from, that can better me. So pay very close attention to what you hear, what you see, um, what you feel, what you smell. You know, all of these things, all these senses, they're going to be very active. They're going to be activated and so with this new profound energy with this new energy of knowing that you're going to have um there's going to be the tendency of second guessing yourself you know maybe someone you're going to maybe reveal something about someone or give some kind of advice to someone and that person might make you feel indifferent or that person might make you feel like you're a little crazy right because they don't understand you they they, they they're not experiencing what you're experiencing so by definition, that makes you the weird one. So keep that in mind, right? When you um, start feeling things, when you start seeing things, when you start moving differently, all right? Um, you have to have trust in yourself. Trust, trust, trust in what you are seeing and continue to follow its guidance is the, the, the last few words there, all right? So your intuition is going to guide you somewhere. Continue following it. All right, so let's go ahead and reveal another card from the Seasons of the Witch. This is the Yule Oracle. Let's see. Storm. Oof. As within and so without, there are storms a coming. A change without doubt. Interesting. So, group number three. Um, you know, this new activation, this new uh, psychic energy sounds great. <laughs> Woo, sounds marvelous, right? Are you, you're telling me that I'm going to be able to have extra sensory perception? You're telling me that I'm going to be able to intuitive, intuitively pick up on things? Yes. But with newfound power comes a newfound understanding. And um, there's a lot of harsh truths that are going to be revealed to you, group number three. There are things that are going to be exposed about people. Uh, there's, um, things that you've maybe, you know, unfortunately suspected, but you had no proof. Now you're going to, without a doubt, see things very clearly. Your, your eyes are about to be opened, right? So what that means is lies that people have told you will be exposed. Um, lies about events will be exposed. Um, lies about how people feel about you you know, lies about people in their own lives. And so, you know, 2022 is going to be a year 
where in many ways you are going to go through a lot of change, a lot of flux, 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 flux. And that flux means that your circle of friends and your circle as a whole, the people around you, everything is going to change really dynamically, right? So now we're moving away from this energy of, you know, you manifesting exactly what you want to an energy of setting foundations, right? Creating new foundations that are going to elevate you. And one of the reasons why, you know, we have this word here, miracles, is because where you are right now in your life, it feels impossible for you to uh, obtain exactly what this dream is. It's very difficult, right? It's like, you know, where I am right now, you know, energetically with the people that I'm with right now, you know, the, the area that I live in, it's, it's almost like you feel like energetically, that's impossible. You know, it's like my life is like this. It can't be like that. And so in many ways, this reading is confirming that thought that you are having, that feeling that you are having, which is why in some ways, this new energy, this new psychic ability that's being activated in you is going to create some turbulence. It's going to create some storms that you're going to have to deal with. And it's, it has to do with relationships. It has to do with people. It has to do with you knowing what's inside that person. You know, imagine trusting someone for such a long time and then finding out a secret about them that affects you where you, that you had no idea. It's like, if you, if I knew this before, my goodness, right? So that's kind of what it's going to feel like. Um, now, obviously, you know, that's, it is a negative, but at the same time, it's a positive, right? Nobody wants to be ignorant. No one wants to remain in that ignorance. We want to know what's the truth. And so what's coming for you in your life, group number three, is profound clarity. And that profound clarity is going to shape your relationships with people very dynamically all right so we're going to reveal the final oracle and then we're going to move on to the tarot this is from the monology uh, manifestation deck your message for the year is be real full moon in aquarius be real man what a card to get i mean this reading was just so so every single one of the readings were just so so dynamic honestly this is this then this one i think was really more interesting but anyways be real. Why are you getting that message? Well, there's going to be a tendency for a lot of you. Once you see the per this person's true colors, once you understand something that you didn't understand before, there's going to be this desire to act, but at the same time, there's going to be a desire to remain quiet and keep everything as is, as to not upset the current energies well you're being told here pretty profoundly to be yourself be real don't be don't be fake if you know something to be true and it's bothering you don't be fake speak up say what you need to say say what you need what you feel ask what you need to ask don't hold back this is what this card is telling you for the year 2022 you must be real no more fakeness what you intuitively know and feel that is going to be, I mean, fix the board. That is going to be very profound. It's the theme of your 2022. Uh, but in many ways, try and be as real as you can. All right, let's go ahead and throw some tarot. We're going to go ahead and um, and throw uh, from the American Renaissance tarot. This is, this is a very interesting deck. Um, the theme in it, the illustrations. So we're going to use this tarot deck for this uh, reading. We're going to shuffle. One thing to keep in mind, you know, this is the American Renaissance uh, deck, so there are some illustrations of slavery. Um, you know, one of the darker moments in our nation's history. You're from the U.S. But let's go ahead and see what profound message we get for you in the year 2022 in love. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Wow. All right, um, this is interesting because this is the first group that actually shows someone. Um, and um, it looks like, you know, with this someone, we have a little bit of an understanding of what their current energies are and, and who they are. So we can talk about that. Um, we start with the Nine of Wands. 
The Nine of Wands is the card of protecting yourself, protecting um, your people, protecting the the energy that you have around you, not wanting it to go away. You know, there's a sense of just remaining still, remaining where you are, and not really doing anything out of the norm as to not bother anyone or, you know, disrupt the peace, right? Nine of Wands is here to tell you that it's important for you, if you ever feel like you're being silenced, if you ever feel like you're being taken advantage of, it's important for you to speak up and say something. It's important for you to act out on that. For some reason, it's closely, closely tied to your love uh, life in 2022, this ability to speak your mind, to say what you feel, and to not hold back. And, you know, the, the person is showing up here, right? So it looks like whoever it is that maybe you're going to be in a relationship with, uh, I feel like there is definitely someone, there's an ideal situation that you have thought about and, and almost created and, and drawn up in your mind, that ideal, that dream will become reality for you. And I feel that for some of you, it, it takes the form of a person. And we see that person here. We have here the pioneer of wands. You know, this is someone who in many ways likes to be victorious, right? This is the person that moves in life in a very, very profound way, a career person. This is someone that knows that in order to be successful, they have to take a very stoic approach. But at the same time, there's a sense of energy. There's a sense of not stopping, moving forward as successfully as he possibly can, making plans. You know, we have a strategist. So there's definitely a sense of, uh, of, of someone who wants everything in life, right? They're, they're, they strive to make sure that they are positioned perfectly for success. Now, with the Six of Cups, we have here uh, a beautiful scene, right? A little girl reading a book. Um, so what we have here in this illustration is friendships. And, and a very, very nice and profound friendship. You know, very innocent kind of friendship. So this is interesting. But I feel like what this card is telling you, for some of you, is that the person that you are going to meet might very well be someone who you've reincarnated with from a past life, this is someone who you've uh, lived uh, with before in a different past life. This is the energy that I'm getting with this person. Their presence in your life is very profound. Okay, um, it's it's more than just oh, it's just the person I'm having a relationship with. No, I think that this person might be a soulmate of yours. Uh, this person that you are going to meet or be in a relationship with very soon is someone who has potentially your same. You, you share the same destiny. You're, you're headed in the same uh, you're, you're headed towards the same outcome the both of you so it's very interesting uh pioneer six of cups nine of wands the final card is the two of swords and again you know um we keep going back to a a, a double mind here so and it's funny that it's the very last card it's this is the final message that spirit wants for you to take away if there's anything that you take away from this reading it's this there are going to be two roads in front of you. One road is going to provide you with clarity, honesty, but there's a price. That, if you take that route, you are being asked to be genuine. So if you ever feel like you're not being genuine with people around you and with yourself, and, and you're not acting on what you know, which by the way, for 2022, if you feel something, more than likely it's the right thing because your intuition is going to be activated in a very profound way. So whatever you feel more often than not intuitively for 2022, when it comes to love and relationships and people, it's going to be real. And so you're being asked to act out, right? So if you take that road, you're going to, in some ways, manifest the things that you've been wanting far quicker. But if you take the road of accepting certain things from people if you take the other road that says i know this to be true but i'm going to ignore it then i almost get the feeling like you're going to have more storms and you're going to have more of a difficult time finding your way through to this person right i feel like this person is going to happen no matter what right this is definitely happening for you but 
there are it could you it, things can get a little bad if you are not able to trust in what you know and what you believe to be true and if you don't listen to your intuition so these are the things that are, are being asked of you group number three for the year 2022 and that brings us to the end i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys for watching just a quick reminder i am offering private readings at this time I'm extending my discount, the 60% discount, uh, the fall special. It's now a winter special. So take advantage of that 60% off winter special. You will have to go through my Etsy store to place your orders. I'm going to include the link to that Etsy store in the description. Thank you, seekers, for watching. Thank you for your beautiful words. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the reading. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are of the year 2022. Uh, I'm very excited for it. So I hope that you are too. Thank you guys once again for watching, and bye-bye.